Hello everyone. In this video of mensuration, we are going to study about surface area of a right circular cylinder. Now in everyday life, we have come across various objects which are cylindrical in shape like for example, torch, candle, battery, gas cylinder, Coca-Cola can and so on. Many objects we will find in our everyday life which are cylindrical in shape. So let's get started with surface area of a cylinder now. The surface area of a cylinder is the total area occupied by its surface in a three-dimensional space. That is total region covered by a cylinder in three-dimensional space. We know that the cylinder is a three-dimensional object that is, it is not restricted itself to one plane. So, we have to find the surface area of the cylinder. That is, we have to find the total area which is covered by the cylinder. Now, what is a cylinder? A cylinder is a three-dimensional solid having circular bases which are parallel to each other. It does not have any vertices. Now, in the middle of these two circular bases, there is a curved surface, which when opened represents a rectangular shape. This curved surface is also known as lateral surface. Like you can see in the given figure, there are two circular bases and in the middle we have curved surface. So, this whole represents the cylinder. As we know, a cylinder has two types of surfaces. One is the curved surface and the other is the circular base. Therefore, area of cylinder is defined as the sum of the curved surface area and area of two circular bases of the cylinder. So, to find area of cylinder, we just have to add the two circular bases and the curved surface area. The surface area is always measured in terms of square units that is centimeter square, meter square and so on. Now what is the difference between right circular cylinder and oblique cylinder? In right circular cylinder, the two circular bases are exactly over each other and the axis line produces a right angle to the base. That is, the axis line is exactly perpendicular to the base. That's why this kind of cylinder looks straight. While in case, if one of the circular bases is displaced and the axis does not produce the right angle to the base, then it is called the oblique cylinder. Oblique cylinder, if you observe, it is little tilted because the axis is not exactly perpendicular to the base. So, this is the two difference between the right cylinder and oblique cylinder. Right cylinder looks exactly straight and oblique cylinder is little tilted. What is a right circular cylinder? A right circular cylinder is a solid generated by the revolution of a rectangle about one of its sides which remains fixed and the ends or the bases of a right circular cylinder are congruent circles. So, if we want a cylinder from a rectangular sheet, we just have to revolve around one of its sides which is fixed and we will get a cylinder. Therefore, the right circular cylinder has a two circular plane ends. These two circular plane ends are parallel to each other and are known as the bases of the cylinder. The line segment joining the centers of the two bases is called the axis of the cylinder. Therefore, AA dash is the axis of the cylinder. You can see in the given figure, the AA dash is the axis of this cylinder. Axis of the cylinder is exactly perpendicular to the circular ends. For this reason, the solid figure is known as right circular cylinder. The radius of the cross section that is 
circular base is called the radius of the cylinder. The length between the two ends, that is bases, is called the length or the height of the cylinder. It's the perpendicular distance between the two circular bases. So these are the four main features of a right circular cylinder. Now how to find its total surface area? To find the total surface area of a right circular cylinder, we need to find the area of two circular bases and area of a rectangle. Now let's study about area of two circular bases. To find the area of two circular bases, we know that area of circle is equal to pi r square. Therefore, area of two circular bases is equal to pi r square plus pi r square, which is equal to 2 pi r square. Now, what is area of curved surface or the lateral surface? To find the area of curved surface, let's take a rectangular sheet ABCD. Rotate about any side of a rectangle say AB that is line AB remains fixed while CD rotates and we get a right circular cylinder. Now the area of a rectangular sheet ABCD is equal to length into breadth. Length of a rectangle is equal to circumference of the circular base which is denoted by C and we know that the circumference of any circle is 2 pi r. So we can write c is equal to 2 pi r is equal to pi d as 2 r is equal to d that is diameter. And breadth of the rectangle is equal to the height of the cylinder that is h. Therefore, length into breadth of a rectangle is equal to c into h of the cylinder which is equal to 2 pi r h is equal to pi d h. Now this gives us the curved surface area of the cylinder. So therefore we can say curved surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r h or pi d h. Thus having radius r and altitude that is height h, the total surface area of a right circular cylinder consists of three parts. The area of the top base that is pi r square, area of the bottom base that is pi r square and the area of the side which is curved is equal to 2 pi r h. The area of the top and bottom bases is the same and is called the base area B. The area of the side that is curved is known as the curved surface or lateral surface area which is denoted by LA. The total surface area of the solid right circular cylinder is made up of the sum of all three components that is top, bottom and side. Its total surface area is therefore twice of B plus LA which is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. Further, we shall take 2 pi r common and we will write 2 pi r in bracket r plus h is equal to pi d in bracket r plus h where d is equal to 2 r is the diameter of the circular top or bottom. So, let us revise. Total surface area of a cylinder is equal to area of two circular bases plus area of curved surface that is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h which is equal to 2 pi r in bracket r plus h. An open cylinder does not include either top or bottom elements and therefore has lateral or curved surface area only. Now, the formula of curved surface area is equal to 2 pi r h. Thank you everyone. Hope you have understood.